Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. Last time I put in an automatic hoist on my drill mill machine. But that's not the only problem with these machines. More after this. Round column drill mill machines have been very popular for about 40 years. There is, however, one major problem with them. Although they combine the features of both a pillar drill and a milling machine, because they're mounted on a column, they can rotate around it. To stop this, the head has to be clamped using two bolts mounted at the rear, and they have to be loosened and retightened every time you move the height. That can be a real nuisance, and the standard solution is to put a second column. To hold it in place. And that's what I intend doing, using a steel bar that came from an electric bed that I rescued. This already has brackets in convenient places. First I need to make a bracket attached to the bottom column to mount this to. The vertical bar was then strapped in place, ready to tack weld. Because the head rises past the top of the column, this will need extending by about 60mm, here held up on blocks. To bridge this, I cut a piece of steel tubing. And here it is with the bottom plate welded up, and the mounting for the top in place. Just need to locate it now. With the bottom firmly bolted down, the next step is to square the rod and fix the top with two bolts passing through the column. These bolts will allow movement for adjustment later. The next step is to make the follower. The idea is to have two ball races gripping each side of the steel rod. These will be mounted on eccentrics for adjustment. By using a 3mm packing piece under one of the jaws, the bearing was turned eccentrically. And here are the two eccentrics. Notice they're not the same. One is a coarse and the one a fine. And here are the bearings that fit on them. The eccentric is adjusted using two spanners until it's a smooth and tight fit against the shaft. To measure the errors in vertical movement, I use a dial gauge bearing against a 16mm tool steel bar held in the collet. I then adjusted the column via the top bolts until I got minimum amount of movement on the shaft. And here is the finished system. The bottom bracket painted. The top similarly treated. And the follower with 3D printed end caps. I'm not going to make the common YouTube claims for phenomenal accuracy for this system. But it's good enough for the things I need. As you can see, the run out was around 4 thou, or as we engineers like to say, plus or minus 2 thou. That's actually quite good, much better than I expected. It will hold it in place for drilling and for light milling. If I'm doing any heavy milling, then I will still use the clamps. Well, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.